Well guys, we're getting down to the end of it. I figured I'd come back with an update. This is probably gonna be the final one. Um well, I don't know if it's the final one, but it's gonna be the last one for a little bit because the body itself is pretty much done. This thing runs amazing. I'm just gonna put some new plugs into it. Uh, I got everything covered up right now. It's supposed to get we're supposed to get like 20 centimeters of snow tomorrow, so I prefer not to have everything covered. So the only thing I got left really to do, I gotta finish mounting that. It's only gonna take a couple minutes in this. Uh, I gotta chop a little bit off the back. I'm gonna weld down a piece for a little, just a little tiny small uh, gas tank protector. Just something small. Other than that, it's a lot of knickknack stuff. Cut the rest of this door, uh, cut this door down, weld some plates on, get this plate over here done. Um, I gotta keep bringing this in and making it flush. It's not done yet. And then I'm gonna cut that threader right off. That's done. And that's how it's pretty much done under in paint. Gas tank needs to be dropped, but that's, you know, these cars only takes a couple of minutes. And this gas tank's falling out of this one, so it's going to be even less. Um, creasing, that's like, that's getting done. That's actually doing pretty good, but I'm going to still keep squaring it up over the weeks to come. Uh, this here, the trunk, is not bad. I'm loving how the way it's going. I'm, I think I might even crease this right here just like pound this in and square that all up and i gotta weld that tab on that's it for the back that's pretty much done window bars almost done is mounted on the top i just got to mount it on the bottom but i gave up for today uh passenger side as you guys pretty much know the side is all done i haven't done anything on this side since we moved over but we need a couple uh plates welded on that's going to be done and then we can bolt this up that'll be done and other than getting rid of the washer bottle um i'm going to actually i know what i'm going to do here i'm actually going to yeah cut this a bit shorter but i'm just going to cut it to about right there and then come across and i'm going to beat it in and then weld it that's not going to take very long uh front end i haven't got a whole lot done with the front end the hood is pretty much the last big thing that needs to be done up here uh da -da -da -da. yeah everything is looking pretty good and i do and you probably can't see it right now i don't know if, maybe if you see yeah you can see it shining in there i have myself a solid motor mount so i think that's going to do all right that's the first time i've ever tried one so uh i hope it's going i hope it's going to do good and i'm really enjoying this thing i really am but we're almost done there's not much left and here's just a little input for some of you guys uh just for the non car people don't tighten your lugs too tight man out of 10 lugs i got five bust off uh three on this tire two on the other one i haven't even touched the back yet don't even want to look at it because i'm I, i'm i'm pretty poisoned with it i'm gonna say as of right now i'm going to have to break all of them off and replace them all and i got a feeling it's gonna be the same thing with the back which is unfortunate. They're not actual lug nuts, they're bolts and they're rusted in place. And I'm figuring that these tires have been on here for the last few years and they're not coming off. So I'm gonna to try to save whatever wheel studs I can, but as of right now, I'm gonna probably need at least 90% of them. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's enough of an update on this thing. We're soon gonna get the paint started. Stay tuned. We're, uh, we're not done here yet. What's up today, folks? Figured I'd start coming back and make another video. Uh, this car is actually starting to get to an end now. Big time. I'm getting the rest of uh, all my stuff welded up. All my plates and everything. Getting this side welded. The trunk done. Uh, the trunk is pretty much done. I just have to weld down that plate. Finish it up down there. That's going to be great. Uh, we'll start doing our creasing. Get that done. This side, uh, this door back here is welded shut now so i should be able to get my uh, door bar straightened out we have another bracket welded on there the hood is done the hood is actually done i just got to throw a couple bolts up to the hood exit but it's been cut uh, she is creased i just have to uh, knock a couple pieces out of the way and uh, she should be ready to fold here now in a second but yeah she's coming along guys she's coming along we'll uh we'll start getting some more of these plates welded in 
and uh, see where we get to. It's kind of snowy. I don't know if the camera can really pick that up, but it's also kind of nice. Like it's snowing, but there's a little bit of sunshine, sunshine so we're going to keep going at this and uh, see how far we get today. All right, let's keep at it. All righty, we're done here now for today. Everything is starting to look good. Trunk is just about done now. Trunk is just about done. I got to cut off two pieces of sweater rod and uh, mount up my window bar and pretty much about it. I'm going to crease that piece into like I got done over there, just whatever. And I think I might take my come along and pull the rest of that down. So it's just like flush down inside of here. I think it would make it a little bit stronger. I think it would do a great job actually. But that'll be for tomorrow. We're giving up now for the day. I gotta run out of town. But everything is starting to come. Everything is starting to come. And we've actually got to run in this time, which you all know. So we're way steps ahead than we were, what we were last year. Everything is starting to look good. All right, guys. Uh, this will be the end of this video for today. But uh, stick around because uh, tomorrow is going to be for you guys here now in a second. And uh, we're going to see what we get set tomorrow. Anyways, guys, have a good one. What's happening today, folks? I got some good news today. The Gander rules have been posted. So this year, we will be running Gander, which is awesome. And they have actually made up some pretty good rules. Um, this car is pretty much able to run and Gander, which is actually kind of surprising because this would be considered a built car. But they have changed the rules, they have advised a lot. Um, there's a couple of things I might have to do to degrade this car of the uh, type of level of car it is right now. Um, I don't believe that they're going to allow the front bumper, so we'll have to figure out a front bumper. Uh, they want street tires, they don't really want the aggressive mud tires, which is fine. That's cool. That's cool. Um, might even just save these for it. Or who knows? I got tons of house. Maybe we can kind of dig up a nice set of uh, winter tires or something at the other house. See what we can do. But yeah. Um, we can swap out any compact bumper that we want. Say for instance, like for an example, like I could put a Mazda 3 bumper on the front of this. Um, all your brackets around... The top of the uh, fenders is allowed, all the creasing is allowed, welding is allowed, all the bolts and the fenders are allowed, the disc trunk is allowed, the window bars and the thread, everything is allowed for the most part except for just minor stuff like tire and a different front bumper which, hey man, I'm good on that, I'm happy with that. So, we will source ourselves out, source ourselves out another bumper for the front of this. After when smash up is over, we'll cut this one off and we'll put another one on, provided there's anything left of the car, obviously. Um, other than that, this thing is pretty much built for smash up and gander now, which is I'm super stoked about. I haven't ran a gander derby since 2019, my first Camry that I uh, that I ever used. And uh, it went good, so I'm excited for this one. I'm super stoked. Once uh, the smash up frame S is over, we'll bring this one home. We'll do a couple tweaks where we need to fix it. Like I said, if she is fixable, if she's beyond fixable, we'll uh, we'll see if we can source that another one. Maybe we might try a different build all together. Maybe we can try a quick one before I leave the island. Maybe we can find ourselves an old Cavalier or a Sunfire or something. I don't know. But yep, the rules is out, guys. Everything is looking good. This car is slowly starting to come to an end. And as of right now, we got two places to run it, which is sweet. Which is awesome, but I don't mind taking off a couple pieces to uh, degrade her a little bit. I don't mind that at all. So yep, yeah, uh, probably not going to be a whole lot of work done on this today. But I just wanted to come back in. Uh, right quickly and just let you guys know about the gander derby so we will be pulling more content from that this year um you know as far as i'm looking everything i think we're going to be here until september month which is the whole summer i get to be here for both of my kids birthdays i get to be here for all the derbies uh minus one as far as i'm hearing they are making a new derby over on the east coast out by St. John's at Avondale Speedway. Um, 
that won't be until October month, which unfortunately, nine chances out of ten, I will not be here for it. But if we are, we will definitely go to it because it is brand new, sort of. They did it a couple years ago. I think there was only like four or five cars or something that showed up. And that was the end of that. But they're trying to set it up again. And as far as I know, it's working. So anyways, yep. Just wanted to come back on a quick update, guys. Uh, we're going to shove this into the same video. But I just wanted to let you all know that there's going to be more content coming to the channel. We got another derby to do this year. And it's kind of, uh, I want to save this for the team show. I want to save this for the team show. And then again, I don't. I'd like to be able to sell it. I had another car lined up before I found out that we were going to move away. And, well, that kind of fell through. There's no point in buying a, a fresh derby car. And it's a good one, too. It's a really good car. But there's just no point for me to buy it. So, I don't know. We'll definitely use this one for the team show, though. we got to do a lot of work on this one. She's filled up right now. Keep all junk stuff out of my shit that I don't use. We'll get that bumper mounted back on. I gotta get these pieces out. This over here needs to be looked at big time because that's just a racket right now. <laughs> that's all kinked up. And yeah, you can tell I stole a couple parts off of it, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Anyways, that's it for the update, guys. We'll uh, we'll get back at you soon.